I define it very specifically. Um, it's not something bad that happens to you. It's not some. Not, it's not that when you, you know. I went to this movie last night and I was traumatized. No, you weren't. You were just sad or you were, had some emotional pain, but you weren't traumatized. Uh, trauma means a wound. That's the literal meaning of the word. It's a Greek word for wounding. So trauma is a psychological wound that you sustain, and um, it behaves like a wound. So on the one hand, a wound if it's very raw, if you touch it, it just really hurts. So if I, if I have a wound around not being wanted, then or, or the belief that I'm not, then decades later, if anything reminds me of that, it hurts as much as it did when I originally incurred the wound. So in, in one sense, trauma is an unhealed wound that touched, we get triggered. That's what triggering means, by the way. Some old wound, wound gets activated or touched. And the other thing that happens to wounds is that they scar over. And scar tissue has certain characteristics. It's thick, it has no nerve ending, so there's no feeling in it. So people traumatized, disconnected from their feelings. Um, scar tissue is rigid, it's not flexible. So we lose kind of response flexibility. So when something happens, we tend to react in typical stereotypical, predictable, dysfunctional ways because of the rigidity and scar tissue doesn't grow like healthy flesh. So people who are traumatized tend to be stuck in emotional states that characterized their development when they were traumatized. So when somebody says to you, don't be such a baby, uh, <laughs> it doesn't sound very pleasant, but there's some truth to it. It means that you're probably reacting according to the lines of some wound that you sustained as an infant. And now you're, you're reacting as if that wound was happening all over again. This is what one of my friends in the trauma world, Peter Levine, calls the tyranny of the past. So something happens in the present and we react as if we're back there in the past when this first happened.